Jacob, uh, you know, what, what was it like out there today? Uh, you know, you're playing a PJ Tour course in the U.S. Amateur. I mean, yeah. is it some some part of you, you know, give yourself a little bit of slack for whatever you shoot today in, yeah. in a situation like this? No, I was I was pretty confident coming in, and then I just. 10 I started on 10 and uh, hit two good shots and got penalized right off the bat and I was playing ping pong in the bunker so I made seven so that kind of took the wind right out of me and then I just couldn't get on just couldn't get a good start going and I didn't hit really any good iron shots I hit three greens all day so it was really it was tough to make anything I had three chances and they weren't even that great so I just struggled but it was it was definitely fun I took in the experience I won't uh I won't uh, take this for granted so yeah I followed you out there on 10, and uh, I mean, you strike one off the tee. Yeah. You, 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 you played it smart, hit an iron. Yeah. And uh, and you, your your post shot was like inches from being really good. Yeah, it looked like it like landed almost in or whatever, just too much. You gotta hit it weight. You gotta hit it like 10 feet short at least. And I just didn't want to be short, and I was long, so. Right. Yeah. So how long did it take to kind of recover from that? And uh, and. and uh, yeah, everyone around you yeah. can say you shake it off. Yeah, and yeah, I know. Left, but. Uh, just the nerves, I don't know. And then I hit a, a poor tee shot on 10 or uh, 11, the par 5. Mm -hmm. And then I just I started hitting better shots, but they weren't great at to how I was hitting in the practice round. So I just couldn't get anything going. I don't know. I think it was just that rough start. Maybe tomorrow, less pressure and just swing away and instead of be tense over the ball. Definitely. What's the biggest thing you've played in? before this? Um, probably junior college nationals. Okay. I was there twice and we won back to back. Otherwise, um, I played in a bunch of big AJG events. Sure. The ones you have to get invited to, like the Rolex and right. the Foot Joy. So those were pretty big in my junior career. But I played in the WAC Championship. That was pretty good. Uh, the competition isn't as good, but it's still still good. It's a good experience. So this yeah. is the biggest thing for sure. So tell me how you, which uh, junior college did you go to, and then how did you get to UMKC? Uh, I went to Indian Hills Community College okay. in Otama, and they're like a powerhouse for right. golf. So we, we won back-to-back -back national championships there, and my I was originally committed to Memphis out of high school, and I had bad grades. So then uh, the coach sent me to that school, and it was sure. actually really fun, really good experience, yeah. and I grew a lot. And then uh, I was looking for something like full scholarship almost just to get school paid for and right. UMKC, JW, Vandenborn offered it and I yeah. couldn't say no so it was fun two years I'm done with college really? golf already so it sucks to be done but I don't know what I'm going to be doing here in the next year play a few more amateur tournaments and then see if I can get my game right to, to turn pro so sure so that's the plan I mean have you finished your degree or is that no I have, I have a fifth year of school I got okay. behind going to junior college right. and stuff so I'll be at school for a fifth year and then stay amateur until then and then we'll see after that if I can get the money and the sponsorships and my game better then I'll try and turn pro I'm assuming sure. right now that's the plan what to, did the confidence wise what did qualifying for this do for you I uh, definitely boosted it because this was like the only event I was going to play in this summer and I really wanted to play and this was going to be my last try at it so knowing that it was my last try and I made it was pretty cool because this is probably it for me like at trying for this I've tried for like the last six years and sure. making it on my last try was really cool and I played well in the qualifier made like 10 birdies and wow. Uh, just had a couple doubles and but I played really good so I was looking forward to it here and I played good in the practice round and just that tenth hole killed me off the bat and then I just couldn't get anything going I don't know so it's there isn't it Jason? yeah yeah it was there in the practice round hopefully tomorrow I'm not as tense and uh, just less pressure because I shot 83 so I don't yeah. know I'd have to shoot something low to make the cut or whatever but right so just try and have fun I guess so this is the only tournament you played in all summer yeah besides the USAM qualifier I was gonna do a web.com event yeah. like a qualifier but I was like nah I'm just gonna focus on this so I've just been practicing really practicing really? and playing with uh, members at courses and stuff because I don't have a country club membership so I just try and I work at a, a country club so they let me practice and stuff so I was getting some work in and I felt good I don't know what happened today I just didn't strike the ball good that, that too so yeah are you living down in KC or are you living in uh, the right now I like I have an apartment in Kansas City but my family's all in Wisconsin now. sure I'm trying to move out here soon but yeah I love it here so awesome well, Jacob it was good following you and